Hello dear students, this is Shri Matya Shunias, Assistant Professor of Mathematics. The topic which we would be studying today is Problems on Finding Maximum Extreme Values. First problem, determine the maximum value of the given function f of x comma y is equal to 3x square minus y square plus x cube. Let's call this as equation 1. Let's differentiate this partially with respect to x and y. When I partially differentiate with respect to x, I get fx is equal to 6x plus 3x square. y square differential becomes 0 as it is a constant. Next, fy becomes minus 2y. Let's call this as equation 2. Now let's differentiate equation 2 partially with respect to x and y. So when I differentiate fx again partially with respect to x, I get fxx. This is nothing but 6 plus 6x fyy would become minus 2, fxy is nothing but dou square f by dou x dou y which is partial differentiation of y with respect to x which is 0. So next is I have to find the extreme values, the conditions which we would be using is fx is equal to 0 and fy is equal to 0. When I put fx is equal to 0, I get 6x plus 3x square is equal to 0 out of which 3x is common so it is 3x into 2 plus x is equal to 0 brackets will not be shown when i use math type equation so when i simplify this i get x is equal to 0 x is equal to minus 2 now let's consider fy is equal to 0 we get minus 2y is equal to 0 or y is equal to 0 the stationary points are 0 comma 0 and the stationary points are 0 comma 0 and minus 2 comma 0. Now let's see what happens to the value of rst at 0 comma 0. The value of r is 6, s is 0 and t is equal to minus 2. rt minus s square becomes 12 which is less than 0. Since the condition becomes less than 0, we know the function has neither maximum nor minimum value at 0 comma 0. Now let's check the second point at minus 2 comma 0. The value of r at minus 2 comma 0 is minus 6. The value of s is 0 and the value of t is minus 2. rt minus s square becomes minus 6 into minus 2 minus 0 which is 12 and the, which is greater than 0 and the value of r is minus 6 which is less than 0. We have studied in the previous sessions that if rt minus s square is greater than 0 and r is less than 0, then the function is maximum at minus 2 comma 0. Hence, maximum value of f of x comma y will be obtained by substituting x is equal to minus 2 and y is equal to 0 in the given equation, which on simplification gives answer as 4. Therefore, f maximum is equal to 4. Now, let's study the next problem. Let's find the stationary points of the given function f of x comma y is equal to x cube y square into 12 minus x minus y. Now, let's simplify this problem by multiplying each term which becomes 12 x cube y square minus x raised to 4 into y square minus x cube y cube. Let's call this as equation 1 and let's partially differentiate this with respect to x and y. So fx would be differential of 12x cube y square with respect to x would be 36x square y square and x power 4 y square would be 4x cube y square and x cube y cube would be 3x square y cube. Therefore fx would be 36x square y square minus 4x cube y square minus 3x square y cube. Now let's differentiate f of x comma y partially with respect to y keeping x as constant. So we would get 24x cube y minus 2x power 4y minus 3x cube y square. Let's call this as equation 2. Now you know to find the stationary points the condition which we would be using is fx is equal to 0 and fy is equal to 0. Let's put fx is equal to 0. That is 36x square y square minus 4x cube y square minus 3x square y cube is equal to 0. 
when we look into this particular equation we know x square y square is common so after taking x square y square common we get 36 minus 4x minus 3y is equal to 0 since the bracket cannot be equal to 0 terms we get x square y square is equal to 0 and the other equation is 36 minus 4x minus 3y is equal to 0 let's call this as sub equation 1 now let's take the other condition fy is equal to 0 that is 24x cube y minus 22x power 4y minus 3x square y square is equal to 0 here x cube y is a constant so later on x cube y is common so when i take common i get 24 minus 2x minus 3y is equal to 0 so product of 2 equal to 0 gives me individual term is equal to 0 which we get x cube y is equal to 0 and 24 minus 2x minus 3y is equal to 0. This is equation sub 2. Now you know 1 and 2 are nothing but simultaneous equations. We need to solve them. So to solve them what we do is we take equation 1 subtract it from equation 2 by multiplying equation 2 by 2. So this is what we get. So on subtracting, I'll be getting 12 minus 3y is equal to 0 out of which y is equal to 4. Now we'll substitute y is equal to 4 in the given equation 1. So later on on simplification, I get x is equal to 6. So from x cube y is equal to 0 and x square y square is equal to 0, we would get a common point x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0. Hence, the only stationary point is 6, 4. Now, we need to find the value of R, S and T. For that, we need to differentiate equation 2 partially with respect to X and Y. Now, you have Fx here. Let me differentiate this Fx again partially with respect to X. So, let's find out what Fxx is. Ffx becomes, Fxx becomes 72xy square minus 12x square y square minus 6xy cube. Similarly, fyy would become 24x cube minus 2x power 4 minus 6x cube y. Now let's find out fxy. That is, we have to differentiate fy partially with respect to x. So that would give me 72x square y minus 8x cube y minus 9x square y square. Now the value of r at 6 comma 4 would give me minus 2304. The value of s that is fxy at 6 comma 4 on substitution would give me minus 1728. And the value of t at 6 comma 4 would give me minus 2592. Now let's look in for the condition rt minus s square. Now let's substitute for r t s simplify and then we would get a positive number which is greater than 0 and r value is less than 0. So since rt minus s square is greater than 0 and r is less than 0, we know f will be maximum at the point 6 comma 4. The maximum value is given by f maximum at 6 comma 4 is equal to now let's substitute x is equal to 6, y is equal to 4 in the given equation which on doing it would give me the answer as 6912. Thank you dear students.